periodic puzzler. The storyline. Periodic puzzler. With the star test coming up so quickly, you were up all night studying science. You studied so hard that in the wee hours of the morning, you actually fell asleep despite all the Starbucks you drank. You awoke to find yourself trapped within the periodic table of elements. Your only hope of escaping in time to make it to your first period class is to solve all these chemistry puzzles and clues. This will allow you to unlock the box and break out of the periodic table. You have 45 minutes to do so, or you will be trapped here indefinitely. May your team have all the right elements of great communication skills and teamwork to successfully break out. Good luck. Your time starts now. To set up the locks, the three digit lock is 139. The four digit lock is 5232. Two. The directional multi lock is down, right, up, right, down. And the ABC multi lock is Adams. To set up the game, you will first need to place the periodic table breakout sign, it looks like this, in the big box with some candy or another prize. Set the four multi-locks as previously mentioned and put them on the hasp on the big box. Place the UV flashlight in the small box with the key lock on it. You will need to hang the element pictures around the room and hide the key behind the elements in the boron family. If you are using more than one group, um, maybe within a, an entire classroom, there are multiple boron family elements to hide different keys behind. Place the hint cards, the, the key cipher, the decoder, the periodic table, all in the on the table with the big and the small boxes. It will also be helpful to include a whiteboard, expo marker, eraser, and iPad. Place the four questions for the decoder, the directional clue, the crossword, and the element cipher inside a manila envelope and hide it somewhere near the table. Use the invisible ink marker to mark the boxes on the crossword puzzle to spell out the word Adams. Set the iPad story to the YouTube link and then put a timer up in the classroom, set it to 45 minutes and you are ready to go. The game overview. When students decipher the key, this key cipher clue, they will then look behind the boron family elements for the key to unlock the small box, which will allow them to gain access to the UV flashlight. When students then use that flashlight over the crossword puzzle, the boxes for certain letters to spell out the word Adams will be revealed. When they unscramble those, they will have the code to the um, ABC multi-lock. When students answer the, the four questions and use the decoder, they will come up with the code 5232 for the four digit lock. When students use the periodic table and the directional clue to move through the periodic table from element to element, the directions of their movement through the table will give them the directional code. Down, right, up, right, down for the directional multi-lock. When students decipher the elements on the element cipher clue and fill in the corresponding information for each element, the page tells them to add the shaded boxes together. When they find the sum of the shaded boxes, the code 139 is revealed for the three-digit multi-lock. Resources that are, would be helpful to use are the iPad for the story, a timer, of course the hint cards, a whiteboard with expo marker and eraser, and then the manila envelope. 
I like to print everything in color and laminate. And if you're using more than one group with more than one boxes, I would also uh, suggest color coding. It's easier to keep track of things that way. You will need to print out the periodic table breakout sign, the key cipher clue, which leads them to the pictures of the Boron family, the decoder, the four questions, all the element symbols, the directional clue, the crossword puzzle. Remember, you need to also use the invisible ink marker to highlight the boxes on here. The element cipher clue, the periodic table, and then if you would prefer not to use the iPad for the story, you can just print the picture as well.